Let's look at accent marks 7 through 12. Now, these are words that are spelled exactly the same, but if you add an accent mark, it completely and totally changes the meaning of the word. Okay? So, an accent mark is like a nuclear bomb. It might be really small, but it changes everything. Okay? So, be careful with accent marks. Solos only, only solo. Solos only, only solo. Solos alone, alone is solo. Solos alone, alone is solo. Say is I know, I know is say. Say is I know, I know is say. Say is himself, himself is say. Say is himself, himself is say. Ablo is he spoke. He spoke is ablo. Ablo is he spoke. He spoke is ablo. Ablo's I speak. I speaks ablo. Ablo's I speak. I speaks ablo. Now let's look at number seven. How are we going to remember that solo is only? Well, the only difference is the accent mark. The only difference is the accent mark. So solo with an accent mark means only. Now, solo without an accent mark means alone or lonely. If we take away the accent mark, how does solo feel? Well, without the accent mark, solo feels all alone and lonely. And in English, we have a word solo, like you're singing a solo, you're up on stage by yourself, and you're all alone and lonely. Now, say with an accent mark means I know. So like Arnold Schwarzenegger could say, I know for a fact that I have an accent mark. I know for a fact that I have an accent mark. Or Yoda <laughs> could say, mm, no I, that accent mark have I. So say with an accent mark is I know or I know for a fact. Say without an accent mark means himself. Like uh, El Chico Se Llama Bob, the boy calls himself Bob. Or uh, Maria, uh, I'm sorry, Paco Se Habla, Paco talks to himself. Now, how are we going to remember that say means himself? Well, here's how I did it. What does he have to say for himself? Himself is say. Take it down now. What does he have to say for himself? Himself is say. Now, on 11 and 12, the accent mark actually does change the uh, pronunciation a little bit. Ablo with an accent mark means he spoke. Okay? Now, the way I remember that, if you look at a paragraph and there are accent marks over the verbs, it's past tense. So think, well, he had, in the past, he had an accent. Like when Arnold Schwarzenegger first came to America, he had an accent, or um, Ricardo Montalban, or whatnot. So, hablo with an accent means he spoke. Hablo without an accent means I speak. The way I would remember it, hey, I speak without an accent. But he spoke with an accent. I speak without an accent. He spoke without an accent. So there you've got accent marks 7 through 12. Again, when I think of accent marks, I think of this cool Inspector Gadget toy from Burger King. At first glance, it doesn't seem that impressive, but the closer you look, the more you see. His arm is actually retractable. You can reach out and grab stuff, and his other arm is cool. It's a squirt gun. You put in water, and you can actually squirt your friends. Isn't that cool?